it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts UK Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. And I'm here with a couple of projects using a designer series paper from our designer series paper sale. So all of these are 15% off from the 1st of July to the 2nd of August. So it's basically all of the pattern paper in the annual catalogue that isn't specialty and isn't colour families. Everything else is in the sale. The standard size packs are reduced from 1075 to 914, and the in good taste is reduced from 20 to 17 pounds. This is the one that has 12 patterns and two of each, as opposed to six patterns and two of each. So I'm using Bloom Where You're Planted today. So let me just grab the paper so I can show you what you get in your pack and it's this one so it's all very earthy as you can imagine from the title um, great for masculine cards but that's not to say you can't use it for more feminine projects as well um, a couple of wood grains and then on the back we've got a couple of um, walls for want of a better word um, pots with plants in this hanging or growing whichever way up you have it little pattern and then the plants that go into the pots and it's some of those that I'm going to be using today so let's start with this one this is going to be a top well they're both going to be top folding cards this one basically just uses one plant and some designer series paper to go with the card so let me just grab, no, it's out already, grab my bone folder. I've already cut the pieces just to save you time. This is, after all, just to show you what you can make use, uh, using these papers. Uh, I've got a piece of just scrap white, um, some cinnamon cider and a sentiment that I'm taking from the Dragonfly Garden. It's May Good Things Grow All Year Long. Because I thought that was an appropriate sentiment for this card. I do not, at the point of filming this, have the stamps and dies to go with this paper. They are on their way from Germany as we speak. They have shipped. So there we go, cinnamon cider with cinnamon cider. I do like a little bit of tone on tone. And then I've got the oval punch and I did try this beforehand just to make sure it would fit, and it just does. Getting it straight would be lovely. So that is our sentiment all done. Don't need that little scrappy bit. So I have got a piece of garden green, a piece of cinnamon cider, and a piece of the designer series paper. It's got the plants without the pots on the opposite side and then the wood grain. I'm just going to layer those up. This piece of brick wall is going to go on the inside of the card and then I'm just going to use a piece of the um, peacock and I want to say this is old olive but anyway this because it actually kind of goes but it's from the annual catalogue. Uh, right okay so I'm going to start by attaching oops, my paper. So pop some seal just in strategic places, concentrating on the corners. Corners are always where things are going to get caught. Um, a straight edge is less likely to get caught by purely on the basis it's a straight edge. I really love this wood grain. It's a sort of hand-drawn, sketchy wood grain. So there's that. I uh, can't decide whether to have my ribbon there or going around everything. Let's have a look. So it can either go there or it can go there. I think I'm going to put it around this layer and I want the plant to sit over the top of it. So the plant's going to go there, then the ribbon, and then we'll have our sentiment. So we'll move that up a bit. So we'll have our sentiment there, then our ribbon and our plant. 
Perfect. Right, I know where I'm going now. It's almost like I've planned it. Well, clearly I've planned it, I just haven't planned it to the last detail. So, using my grid lines to line up my ribbon and some Seal Plus, which is my favourite adhesive for attaching ribbon. Just a little bit and then I can line up my ribbon with one of the grid lines, bring it over, bring it taut and then pull that over to lie over the top and then I like to add a little bit of extra, assuming it would like to go on. It doesn't always like going on to ribbon. There we go and some more there. It's because ribbon is a, some of the ribbons are very um, shiny, so they've got a bit of a smooth surface, which is not great at sticking to. The Seal Plus, I mean, so a bit of adhesive. But I do like to use a bit of the Seal Plus just to make sure that the, um, the ribbon is encapsulated between two layers of Seal Plus. And onto the garden green, very narrow margins. The measurements as ever will be over on my website and the link to that is in the description bar below. So that is that, I'm gonna pop that on there. That we're going to pop down there. And I think I'm gonna pop it onto some um, dimensionals. That's the word I'm looking for. Just a couple, just to give it a bit of dimension, strangely. So that, and then this, I'm going to stick flat, I think. Or do I want it popped up? Uh, let's go popped up. So I'm going to use large and small dimensionals on this. So large ones we can have at the bottom. It is paper, so I'm going to be a little more generous than I would normally be with my dimensionals. If this was a die cut in card, I wouldn't put so many on, but paper, I do like to be a little more generous. And then some minis. Just pop those in where these leaves are. Oops. It's going to be a bit too large to go there, so we'll pop him up there. And we've got a bit of fluff caught onto that piece of dimension. And then I'm just going to grab an edge bit to go here. So let's take that edge bit. Come along. There we go. Let me just run that across to give it some support. Right, okay. Let me grab my take your pick and just pull the backings off. Must get rid of that piece of fluff as well, which is going to annoy me. There we go. This is particularly useful on the small dimensionals, which can be a bit fiddly to get the backs off. She says, it does make it easier when you don't then drop the backings back onto the dimensionals. That is how not to take the backings off dimensionals. Okay, and I'm going to bring in some of the square in colour gems, and these are the ones that were for the um, in colours we had last year, one of which is cinnamon cider. 
but then I'm almost tempted. Mm. Mm, not convinced by those on this particular project. So I think what I will grab is champagne rhinestones. I'm going to pop the cover on the sharp end of my take your pick and pick up some of these with the other end because that's this is very much that cinnamon cider kind of colour. Then let's take one of the big ones and pop him up there. So the only thing we've got to do now is stick this onto the outside, stick this onto the inside. Let's get rid of those. And then we are done. So I'm going to start by running, where is it, my seal right the way across the inside of my card. And then I can take my piece of designer series paper. If I get everything straight, that would be a plan, wouldn't it? And then I can pop that down, bring in my snips and trim the back. So that's our little bit of decoration for the out, uh, inside of the card. It just helps bring everything inside. And then this can go on the outside. And then that's our first card done. 11 minutes. Whoa. Press that from the back. So there's our first card. Really nice, simple card. Okay, so for this one, we're going tent fold still, but with um, a short fat. So this is landscape, this is portrait. And I've got some of the evergreen, uh, evening evergreen ribbon, a piece of the paper for the inside, evening evergreen, and then some of the other brick wall. So that's going to go on there and then some grey granite, which is the grey in this paper. And then that's all going to go on there. We're going to run this round all the layers and we'll, then we'll build up our pots. So the first thing I am going to do is adhere my layers because I need those in place. And this is the pattern that I'm putting on the inside. in the middle for luck. And these pieces are the same dimensions as the other pieces, just in the landscape rather than portrait. I love this, ever, uh, this evening evergreen. It's such a wonderfully rich colour. Shaded spruce is fine, but it's not got this kind of depth. And this is more of a blue than the mossy meadow, which is more of a kind of yellowy green. Right, so I want this to come across the middle. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before. So laying that piece of ribbon down. It does have a, seem to have a bit of a tendency to want a curve. So I'm just going to try and straighten it out a bit. Yep, that's better. So I just want it at the bottom here. So I'll pop some adhesive down and then I'll pop one of my ends down and then bring it round, line up just as I did before, line up on a grid line and then I know this is going to be straight when I flip it up. There we go. And again, I'm going to. This ribbon takes the um, the seal plus really well, and then just pop this onto my card front, and then we can build up our plant pots. Okay. 
And while I've got the card here, let's, I'm going to pop the um, adhesive onto the piece of paper this time because it's a narrower piece of paper. So I need to make sure that it's straight. So again, let's pop that on a grid line. And there we go. And again, trim from the back. Now I've already done the fussy cutting for these as well. It's not difficult fussy cutting. I mean, I know I'm a bit of a fussy cutting fan and not everybody is, but hey, it's my card. Now, here's a, th here's a thing. So I wanted to get these pieces out of the middle. So bearing in mind, these are gonna go into a pot. I just cut up so that they can then just come out of the pot and it come, I can have the leaves coming over the top. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of liquid adhesive just there and pop this down. What I should probably do is bring in one of my silicon mats so that if the glue goes onto What's behind, what's behind is a silicon mat. So that's that pot, or plant posset, I should say. So that's one. And then I've got two other plants, one of which seems to be hiding under my glue. No, it's attached itself to my glue. So all I've got to decide is whether I'm going there and there or there and there. And I think, hmm, I think I'm gonna go that way. That looks a better dimension. Yep. So again, I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive, if it would like to come out. There we go. Add that onto there. And as you may be able to see, there's adhesive now on the mat, which I can, of course, pick up with my next piece of paper. Just add a little bit more and then pop my succulent into my pot like that. Squeeze that together. Right, okay, so I just need to decide where everything's going. I want this to be kind of in the middle. And then I want... I think I might go kind of like that. So I'm going to stick this to the back and then these I'm going to put on dimensionals. So I'm just going to run some liquid adhesive over the back of this. Now the very bottom I am going to add some seal plus because that's going to be on ribbon and I do want to make sure that it sticks. Don't want it flapping in the breeze. Let's not run the risk of getting it all over the front of your card. I think I'm just at the point where I need to put a new runner in, so that's perfect timing. So we'll pop this down there. Whoops. And then these I'm going to pop onto dimensionals, and then we will be done. Now what I do like to do if I'm sticking one bit of paper to another is actually seal that with a dimensional because that makes that really secure. And then I can pop another dimensional on the back of there. Whoops, one there and one at the top. And again, I'm overloading dimensionals because it's paper, not card. And if this is going in the post, it needs to stand up to being thrown about a bit. I 
And then in, gosh, 20 minutes, we've got our two cards. That overlapping a little bit more. There we are. So there we go. Let's get rid of some of the rubbish. So those are two cards just using the designer series paper. So this is the paper we've used uh, and nothing else other than some card. So stock up on your papers whilst they are on offer. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave those in the dis in the comments below and I'll get back to you in a few days. If you've enjoyed the video and the projects, give me a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe already, please do in the bottom right hand corner. And if you aren't already on my newsletter, you can do you can join that by going over to my website. The link to that is below in the description bar. And if you follow that link, you will also see close up photographs of these and the dimensions as well as information about the discounted designer series paper. Thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.